be teaching you how to make how to construct an isometric circle you know a circle in oblique form is still a circle but in isometric form it is an ellipse so i'll be teaching you quickly so first of all draw your plane draw your plane draw a plane pick a point on that plane as a center now i'll be teach uh, what, what i'll do exactly is i'll be drawing an isometric circle of of radius of radius 50 millimeters i'll be doing an isometric circle of radius 50 millimeters now if the radius is 50 the diameter is which you know is is 100 in diameter if its radius is 50 so on this point i will draw my symmetric axis straight line on straight line center on center so i have 30 degrees 30 degrees on the other side and 90 degrees i'll draw my I draw my lines to bring out the axis. There for the nineteen. Now, since my since my circle will be of a radius fifty millimeters, which is diameter one hundred, I'll ensure that these three lines are. Of length 100. You have 100 here. You have 100 here. And you have. And you have 100 here. Now. I will join this point to get an isometric square. I think that. Now, after I've gotten this, I'll be drawing the diagonals for this. Now, this is one of the diagonal. And this is the other diagonal. Then I'll be dividing. Let's let's divide this. Let's call here A. Let's call here B, C, and D. Let's use a label. Then by I will divide these two distance. I divide this distance into two, and this distance into two. Then I draw a straight line passing through the center. So this distance is ten. The half of it is, which is the radius, is five. Same thing applied here. So I'll draw a line passing through the center. So here is capital letter A. So you have A, B, C, D. I'll then go here, small letter A, small letter B, small letter C, and small letter D. After getting this, I will draw I will draw a line A C or 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 this A D but I'll, okay like this is I'll draw a line A C now anywhere A C cut your longer diagonal I will name that place X which is this point I'll apply the same thing here now I'll draw a line capital letter B small letter C where you cut the diagonal, the longer diagonal, I will name this point, point Y. You can see that. Now at this point, I'll employ my compass. Now I'll take the first radius. I'll take the first radius A, capital letter A, small letter D, or capital letter A, small letter C. That's A, D, or A, C as my first radius. And I will draw an arc. Now, with that same radius, I will keep my compass on C and draw with, my, with that same radius.
that same radius with center C. Now look at to get to get it out of the core this distance. This point where this line cuts the point X and Y are the centers, and this is the radius X D or X A. So I'll take this. Let me start with Y. Start with this. When I get the radius, I then draw my arc. In that. Now for the next one, with X now as the center, to enclose it, now you get this. So this is an isometric circle. In an oblique form, it's a complete circle, but in isometric form, it's called an ellipse. It's called an ellipse. Now, this method can also be used in drawing an ellipse when you've been given a radius or a diameter. Okay, check it out. Thank you.